Hey guys, I'm Sid with PlayStation, and I'm here at Sledgehammer Games getting ready for Call of Duty World War II, and I'm joined by, well, I'll just let you guys introduce yourselves. I'm Cameron Dayton, I'm the creative director for the team. John Horsley, development director. So tell me a bit about the vision behind Call of Duty World War II Zombies. I mean, what, what was the guiding light on this game? Uh, it felt like the time was right for something that really got into the horror aspects, that really got into the uh, dark, twisted things that you could imagine going on in the shadows in this time of history. And uh, we realized there was just an enormous appetite in the fan base out there for, for something that was going to scare them. We decided to go a different direction from the infection, the outbreak, and, and turn them into uh, a tool, something constructed, something uh, built for a pretty dark purpose. They're purpose-built zombies. They're soldiers. They're built for the battlefield. They don't meander about and, and are, are looking lost and confused. They're, they're built for war. They're stitched together. They're built. You can see the nuts and bolts. You can see them carrying bombs and have utility on the battlefield. So they feel much more um, understood and grounded in this World War II lore that that's populates the entire game. So pretend I've never heard of Call of Duty Zombies, right? It's been around for years. Pretend I've never heard of it, though. What's the elevator pitch? It's World War II. You're sent on a mission to recover some lost art and come across this insidious Nazi plan to animate the dead. And uh, as you're playing through this dark horror story, waves and waves of these zombies are coming at you. So it's, it's kind of a survival game, but it's a survival game with layers. Um, as you... Uh, uh, move through different parts of the level and, and survive stronger and faster waves of these zombies, uh, more clues and elements and I guess you could say chapters of the story are unraveled and so there's this awesome aspirational sense of like, well, I'm getting more story, I'm getting better weapons, I'm getting cooler tidbits as I survive longer and longer. And then the big part is the co-op element. Uh, the, the, the fact that you do better, you can go further if you've got a bunch of players with you, if you've got your team with you and, uh, and you're able to work in concert with each other. The death of the old world. And the whole game really is structured around uh, building tension, building fear, putting it players at risk and jeopardy and then shocking them with a jump scare or something that really does uh, generate that same kind of hair-raising stuff that you see in a really good horror film. So you keep talking about this horror element, which you know, as a huge horror fan myself, I'm, I'm intrigued by that. Uh, so tell me a little bit more, like what is sort of the art and the science of making a scarier zombies mode? I mean, we geeked out about it. We we're like, there are several layers of scary, right? There's the immediate <laughs> jump scare, you know, and you gotta have some of that. But that's kind of the lower hanging fruit. Sure. There's the fear of getting chased, like the fear of it just being right behind me, you know? You've also got the environmental fear, the fear of, of something that doesn't belong. There's all sorts of degrees of horrifying environments, but you start out in a fairly mundane, snowy little village in Bavaria. The, the fear of being chased through something familiar by something horrifying, uh, that contrast is, is remarkably visceral. Beyond that, we've got a, the slower build of a story where dark things are being revealed, where uh, little by little you realize it's worse than you thought and it keeps getting worse. Uh, so, so making sure it just had the right little bit of everything has, has been a fun thing to plug into both the, the, the narrative elements, but also into the, the algorithms that we have running in the software. You know, uh, uh, how many times are you gonna see a jump scare? And how, what, what is the perfect mix of that with getting chased and the growing violence from, from the, uh, the undead behind you? It's, it's a lot of fun. So what would you say is the biggest change that somebody like me, a zombies veteran, is gonna notice right away about this one? The prologue of the tutorial is going to be a change. Uh, we have a very robust uh, hint system for a new player. Um, and, I, and I remind some of the veterans we talked to before that their world is not what it seems. You, you need to look beyond just the obvious to see the Easter eggs and the secrets and the layers that we've put into the map. It's a very arduous task to discover all of the traditional Easter eggs that we hide in these kinds of maps. We said, well, what if we actually build a more casual path, a, a campaign where you're getting the major beats of the stories and it's got all the, the fun elements of discovery and, and a boss fight. But when you're through, you're like, there are the, a couple little, little uh, hints, little breadcrumbs, you're like, ah, I think there's something more. 
Uh, and so it's on top of that, that casual path, we've got what's more of kind of our hardcore path where you dig deeper into the story and you're looking for these clues and you're listening and, and looking for the slightest movements and uh, the story just gets more twisted. And you find all sorts of amazing new weapons and uh, we, we've decided that canonically, the hardcore is the official story, but you get a reward even if you're not willing to spend the, uh, the arduous amount of, uh, of legwork and brain work to get into that. Have we mentioned scary? It's also like way scary. That's, <laughs> I don't know if we said that. But. So I am a huge fan of the Call of Duty Zombies most. I've played every single one for way too many hours. So a lot of things you guys are saying are really perking my ears up. Tell me a little bit about how returning to World War II, that time and place, which I think a lot of people are very passionate about. There's a lot of oh, excitement yeah. around that oh, for this yeah. game. Tell me how that's gonna revitalize and reinvigorate the zombies mode here. By tying it into um, this, uh, there was a secretive side of the SS called the Ananerb, and they were in invested in the occult and trying to figure out some of the darker secrets of mankind's history. And it's just a rich field for storytelling. And to go there with our zombies uh, seemed like such a, an obvious step. And yeah, we get to explore into all that. And so I've had experts in history and in physics and in science that have been bouncing these things off of to make it just credible enough to tell a zombie story. So this, this map is called the Final Reich. It's the first reveal. It's the uh, inciting incident, I guess you could say, for, for what's going to be an epic journey. We're getting towards the end of the war and we've been doing, through some marketing and emails, some discovered diaries, notes, journals between uh, the characters. And they'll get there and kind of uncover the, the first uh, whisperings, I guess you could say, of, of a much darker plan. So the Final Reich is the debut map, is yes. the idea to introduce further maps in DLC. Correct. It's setting the stage, but it, uh, it's very much a stage in and of itself. Before we wrap up here, what's a surprising or unexpected tip that you might uh, recommend to a player who's getting ready to play Call of Duty World War II Nazi Zombies? Yeah. The hint system is not speak to these dregs. Don't get fooled and thinking you beat the game when in fact you just oh, yeah. getting started. Oh yeah, no, we've got we've got we've got some hardcore focused test groups that have still not uncovered some of the mysteries we've got there. And uh, we had one group we had one like, group tell us they finished it and we're like, no, you you actually yeah. did nothing. And yeah. they're like, No, it's the best news ever to hear yeah. this hardcore group of players say, Oh, we finished this, it's actually not that hard. We're like, Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The hint system exists solely for the casual path to get, you know, the players who want to get in and explore and see what the game's all about. But there is this deeper, darker level. It is wicked hard. Guys, uh, hearing you talk about this thing has got me pretty fired up. I'm a huge fan, so really appreciate you taking a little time to talk to the PlayStation folks. Yeah, thanks very much, and I hope the fans enjoy it. Hey, thank you. Call of Duty World War II coming to PS4 November 3rd. I'll be there day one. Will you?